Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. And before I show you the refresh, it is minor, but it brings the laundry room really to that place of honoring the ancestors. I want to show you this outfit today. So if I was with the whole thing, which he always does. So today I am wearing, I know some say it's a hijab. I didn't really mean to do a hijab. I meant to do this draping that my mama used to do because I'll be feeling my mama. And it's funny, we talk about ancestors today because my mother's an ancestor. But I really wanted to, and want to be in this way and I absolutely love it. So I took this scarf that I actually I got from a Tibetan shop. It is a Tibetan scarf. I always tell you that orange wards off the evil eye is for protection. So I love that and it really is protecting me. I have this wonderful dress on. This is actually a dress by a designer named Eileen Fisher. She makes actually green clothes. So this is 100% organic cotton. Either most of her stuff is either organic cotton or organic hemp. And I have a few of her hemp pieces. And what I did was I, I took this Tibetan silk scarf, another scarf from Tibet that I absolutely love that has the same kind of colors. Uh, as the orange and then I got these hosieries that I've been having for years that just fit perfectly you know I've been rocking I'm just loving these cranberry shoes and I decided of course to bust out the black and white because I've got some black and white on I also took an ordinary button-down white shirt and just decided to wear that and how if I was to go out and it was a cooler day I would put a blazer on top of this and I would be wearing rocking my sacred I call it sacred fashion, right? Sacred fashion. So let's, okay, further ado, let me tell you, right, a few things. So if you see this dress, I want to keep it real. These dresses by Nishona, somebody asked me that, and I just, this is what I have it here. How do you care for them? They are machine washable. So I actually wash the gentle cycle in cold. Look at how nice that goes together. Okay, in cold, and then I didn't dry it. So don't dry, I know you might know this, but don't dry your good clothes let them hang to dry. So I just hang it up. So we keep the extra hangers here to hang up our delicates. Y'all, this is it. This is the new piece. This brings the whole laundry room home to me. So now you're on this side, the washboard. The washboard, y'all. I'm just so excited. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Washboard. We found this at Hobby Lobby. It was a, a half off, so it was $25 with tax. I paid $26 something. $26, which is a great price because me and my husband seen a lot of them on eBay and stuff. And most of them were this price and some were even more. Some were less, but I fell in love. It says Farm Sweet Farm. I also took these scented pine cones that we got from a place called Fresh Market. But Michael's also has them too. They have a slight uh, smell, but I like it. And I put them in here so you can actually kind of hang these. Maybe notes or stuff. Actually, I'm thinking about putting like maybe some... This is where I might have to galvanize because, of course, this is kind of, this technically is galvanized. I like rustic. I like galvanized, but I like it to have color to it. But I would actually get some galvanized cans and maybe put a can here for like uh, money and that you might come out of the laundry or socks that don't have another pair or even clothes pins or something that I could put here if I wanted to. But I absolutely love this. I can hang stuff off here as well. So it's, it's not just, you know, uh, fashion or a statement, but it's actually functional as well. And I think it really highlights the ladies. And my husband can get the sisters again and the cotton and the washboard. So I love it. And I just want to share this with y'all so y'all really understand. Um, this really changes the, uh, the game of doing laundry. Like, I come in and I, when I open the door, there's this feeling of, ah, like, oh, and my, wait, my glasses are by the Dollar Tree. I went to the Dollar Tree and got a whole bunch of glasses. I got the orange ones. But I just want to say, like, for me, y'all, it just, it's a new experience. And I know my husband feels it, too. You, you know something is going on here. You know you're honoring your ancestors. So you do the laundry with joy. I was in the sauna today. And I was in there, you know, when I'm in the sauna, I go into meditation. And I was in the sauna today, and what I kept thinking was, which was so amazing, was that how blessed really I am to have a, we are to have a laundry, a washer and dryer in our apartment. And I know for you, maybe you grew up that way. I didn't grow up that way. We had to do our laundry with a shopping cart going, like I told you before, and in our own image. It was a whole different experience. And we were lucky. I think we got a washer at one point. And finally, we got a washer and dryer. I think I had moved out of Brooklyn at that point. And so I would still have apartments, even here when I was in California, that I had to still take it to the laundromat. 
So the idea when I say we, we as a people can have this luxury, when our people literally had to do this, and they used the washboard. What I love about washboards, somebody said, your clothes don't be as clean as when you use a washboard. Those clothes were clean, I and mean, they was clean with the blood and sweat of our people, but it was there. So I just wanted to show you this and let you know that this is the quick refresh. The other ones, I'll use my other camera because I'm going to go into detail of the next one I want to show you, not today, but uh, this week is, I mean, Friday. Friday is a good day. I'll do it on Friday to show you the refresh of the coffee or tea bar. I love it. And you know what the dominant color is? Orange. Okay, orange. Oh, yeah. And I also want to talk, talk about how to play up uh, just decor for looks but it's still functional and it's good for the environment. So remind me, I'll talk to you about that. So uh, yay, y'all, I'll put my little thing. So yes, y'all, if y'all want some nice fashion, inexpensively, you want to change up your look, you can go to the Dollar Tree and buy the readers, the eye reading glasses, or actually you can buy the sunglasses. And what I do is, because the, the shades are not good for your eyes, you need the sun to your eyes, I just pop out the lenses as you see and wear for color. All right, ladies. Love you all with all my heart. Hope you enjoyed the new edition because I am really loving it. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style channel. And I'll see you on Friday in the next video. Peace and blessings.